At the age of 15, Peyton Evans was already so special, full of personality, smiles, and lots of laughter. I mean, I miss her every day. I can, I feel like I can remember every single day that I spent with her. A freshman cheerleader at Forest High in Ocala, Peyton rarely missed school. So when she didn't show up one day in 2014, her friends worried. In the beginning, it was kind of just like she passed out in the Y. Nobody knew what was going on. So. And then the whole day was just kind of like blah. And I didn't find out till I got home when I started seeing it posted on social media. I feel like almost I didn't take it Seriously, to heart kinda, so much. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. just kind of like, oh, okay, well. Hopefully she gets better. What they would soon learn was that their friend suffered a ruptured blood vessel in her brain and was transferred to UF Health Shands in Gainesville for the fight of her life. So we said, fight for her, fight with us, do what you have to do to save her. It doesn't matter what happens afterwards. We're, we're ready. We're, we're prepared. We'll, we'll deal with it. Um, and they did. They fought with us for a long week. Um, but after that week, they declared her brain dead and said that she wouldn't wake up. Peyton Evans was a registered organ donor. Her parents honored her wishes to give the gift of life. You know, we didn't hesitate in our answer just like she didn't because she made that choice herself. We knew that's what she wanted to do. Peyton saved the lives of four people, including the little girl who received her heart. Peyton's family got to meet her at the annual Pay It Forward Run they established in Peyton's honor. That's what keeps her going. That's what keeps all of us going and meeting Bailey and sharing that special moment and knowing that she is the reason that so many people are alive. It's, it's a breath of fresh air in the midst of all of it. Hi. In so many ways, Peyton is still here with her sisters. Can I have a kiss? Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> with her friends. The Roman numerals are, of course, the day that she passed. Um, and then her favorite flower was a daisy. I got Peyton's initial, and her favorite color was blue. And then friends, and my favorite color was pink. And then my initial is M. And I've just always worn it. And with this nurse who cared for Peyton in the ICU. On this day, meeting Amy and Brian for the first time in five years. They have not seen one another since Peyton passed. You know, I meet people in the worst weeks or days or months of their lives. And, you know, with organ donation, it shows that you can find a silver lining in a scenario that seems like that's unfathomable. Um, you know, and it just makes the process just a little bit lighter. I just hope that she's remembered and I hope that people see that there is light in the midst of a tragedy that, you know, even though you might not get the miracle that you pray for for your loved one, that other people can be saved because of their selfless gift. It's just, it's, it's what's gotten us through. I can't imagine it any other way.